Okay, ladies and gentlemen, YouTubers, Facebookers, friends, and family. I think I did enough for one night. Ah, posts are in. Little Yavo, but that looks pretty good. It's a lot better than it was. Um, those were also reinforced inside those posts, inside the joints. We got that box right there. So inside, inside here, and inside there, and there we have a uh, box joint. See how much better than it was the other day when I showed you. This is as solid as it possibly could get. <clears throat> oh, yeah. She's all welded on the inside, finished. Both sides. Of course, have a natural way of closing. Yeah, all the posts are done, so the roof is done for all intents and purposes. And we got a good arc along the roof. It's a major important thing because a lot of these frames, they kind of arc down and then you see them arc back up. You wanna make sure you get a continuous line up there that matches your roof line. There's a lot of work involved in that whenever you're chopping a top because you have to change um, you have to change the position of things. So you want to make sure that your top line runs fairly evenly with the roof, with the roof line. It's very important. Otherwise you get giant gaps and you can't adjust those gaps out if you don't do it right. So it's very important you get that, that arc smooth all the way along. So, yeah, it's coming along. <clears throat> See, that's got a good fit. <clears throat> so yeah, it's all done. Gotta make some inside brackets. I can actually cut that freaking bar out. That's, hate that bar. This damn stripey bar. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a robot chicken, the emperor. Anyway, um, <clears throat> coming along. She's coming along. The chop is done. Um, I like the way, like I said, I like the proportions. I like where this roof sat when I picked up the car. And I didn't change the dimensions. I just cleaned up the cuts and then rewelded um, all the things that needed to be rewelded. So, um, yeah, we're good. We are good. And uh, more to come. All right, peace out.